Yeah, but it looks like you took a big shot in the helmet and you just bounced right back up from that. Yeah, I mean, that's part of the game. Rough housing a bit, but <laughs> got caught out and then just came back out ready to play the next drive. What happened on that touchdown pass in the corner of the end zone? Uh, so they had a, a two-man high, broke off, he came with me, and then the strong safety came off from the uh, return route. And, I don't know, the ball just kind of was up there and just had to make the catch. Yeah, it, it seemed like you kind of, I mean, it seemed like you were between three defenders there. How'd you go up and get it? Uh, to be honest, I'm not too sure, but Ross made a, made a, made a throw and I went out to go get it, so. You had a pretty strong uh, fall last year and then you went down three games in. What, what was your, what were your goals or what were your thoughts going into fall camp this year now that you're finally healthy? Yeah, one goal is just to stay healthy, keep consistent with my rehab keep at it in the tra uh, treatment room, and then just come out here, be as consistent as possible, try to coach out the new guys, the freshmen, because I mean, although we're young, uh, receiving core, a lot of our second year has got to just step up and be that senior for them. Even though we're not seniors. We've, seen, uh, we've seen a lot of guys, a lot of the older guys, the guys that have played sort of sit out some of these scrimmages you, you haven't. Has that been a conscious choice on your part to you need to get as many reps as possible? Yeah, I mean, I feel like I haven't played football in years. So just getting out there, taking some snaps, getting repetitions with the QBs. I mean, we're rotating four. I just got to get chemistry with each of them. And that goes for the whole receiver core. How, how do you form different chemistry? Because each quarterback's getting equal reps. So how do you sort of, how, how does that relationship develop? I think each quarterback kind of knows their their routes they want to run, what routes they want to throw to. So they're, I think they're all doing a great job uh, with respect to what they can do. and. We just have, we all got a lot of work, uh, work work cut out for us, but I think we're heading in a positive direction. Coach Baldwin and Coach Edwards say they want all the receivers to know all the routes and they want them to know all the different positions and we see you move kind of everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how much more studying do you have to do with this offense than maybe the last one? Uh, I think spring ball helped a lot. Just constant repetition, going through PRPs over the summer and just always going through, I mean, we're in the position of, uh, Position rooms going through every routes, every against every coverages. So you gotta know every situation, especially when we're doing options based off of our base reads. So it's a lot of stuff, but it's gonna help us win. What did you think of, uh, of Garbers over the player of practice? Or was, we've heard from the running backs, we haven't heard much from the receivers. No, yeah, uh, he was very flashy, very flashy quarterback. I thought he did very well, especially the first time he came out here, threw a lot of uh, post dimes right in the end zone. So. Very good, a lot of potential. What about McElwain? It seems like you're kind of his, his security blanket, you're his safety valve. Whenever he's in trouble, he finds you. Yeah, I mean, he's a transfer, so he's just whatever, whatever's comfortable with him. I mean, it, we're, we're all in the dining room, always chatting up together, just trying to get to know each other, especially the receivers. We gotta get to know our quarterbacks a lot. So just trying to get him comfortable with us and uh, it goes for the same way. Anybody else, guys? Thanks, Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.